boys and girls, another day, another daily read aloud coming to you. And for today, I chose a story because today was supposed to be um, an election day and it turned out kind of not to be because of everything going on. So I found I can be president too um, because this election would have led to our next election in November where we get to vote for who gets to be president for the next four years. So, I wanted to come on here and read this story to you. I thought it was a perfect connection for today. So, I Can Be President Too by Yan Yanitzia Kanetti. And I think we read this one back in November as well, along with when we were learning about the presidents. Um, and it's just a good book because I think it talks about some of the really important qualities that we look for in a president and try to find some of those qualities within ourselves, too. So, let's get started. I can be president, too. My name is Chris Mendoza. I'm five years old. I can be president, too. I take care of my grandparents. I help dad. I talk with mom. I spend time with my little sister. Vote for me. I love my family. That's an important quality, right? Somebody who cares a lot about their family will also care a lot about the country, right? It's a very important um, quality to have in a leader. Somebody who cares about other people. My name is Jessica Wu. I'm six years old. I can be president too. I listen to what my teacher says. I don't interrupt my friends. I always wait my turn. Vote for me. I am respectful. Respectfulness is one of our Kaylee values. So I think that's an important skill to have too, right? Being able to be respectful is really important. Especially when you're in a leadership role, when you want everybody to make sure they feel heard and valued. And that's a very important thing to show people is that you respect them. Whether it's your teacher or your friends. My name is Hank Wellen. I'm seven years old. And I can be president too. I ask questions until I understand the answer. I try and try again. I never give up. I work hard to get what I want. Vote for me. I'm determined. So determined means he's not going to give up. And that's also an important skill to have, right? Being able to push through, persevere, like we talked about with Humpty Dumpty. That's a big deal. We want somebody in charge that can make sure that things are getting done. My name is Paul Naongo. I'm eight years old, and I can be president, too. I say what I think when someone asks. I admit my mistakes, and I never blame others. But for me, I'm honest. Hmm, I like honesty. Being able to tell the truth is very important, especially when you're president. But I also like this part. I admit my mistakes. We're all human, right? We all make mistakes. Miss Lorenz tells, um or I tell my class all the time, that, you know what, I spelled that word wrong. I should have done this first. Ah, oh, man, I moved on too quickly. We all make mistakes. It's okay. Just being able to admit that you made them is a big deal. Shows how honest and what a great leader you are that you can do that. That's really hard to do is admit when you're wrong. My name is Becky Cohen. I'm nine years old. I can be president, too. I make a list of chores. I clean my room. I pick up my toys. I put everything away where it belongs. Vote for me. I'm organized. And that's super important, right? You don't want somebody in charge that can't keep anything together. Um, papers everywhere. Doesn't know what they're doing next. They... That's not somebody who's ready for leadership. 
Becky, my girl, you look ready. She looks ready to go. My name is Dave Pearson. I'm 10 years old. I can be president, too. I get along with my classmates. I talk to my neighbors. I am part of a team. I have friends from all over the world. Vote for me. I'm friendly. 100% right. We don't want anybody that was being in charge. That just wouldn't work. We want somebody who's friendly, who cares about others. Who gets along with each other from everywhere, right? Especially a president, because presidents have to interact with people from all over the world. So that's important. My name is Lucy Villaflor. I'm nine years old. I can be president, too. I share all of my books. I help raise money for my school. I bake cookies for my neighbors. But for me, I'm generous. That's also a great quality to have, giving things to other people, right, without asking for anything in return. That's a big deal. That's really hard for some people to do. But our girl, uh, our girl Lucy's got it under control. She's a great leader. My name is Ben O'Connor. I'm 11 years old. I can be president, too. I do all of my homework. I walk my dog every day. When I promise to do something, I do it. Vote for me. I am responsible. Another Kaylee value. My name is Adele Chevalier. I'm eight years old. I can be president, too. I listen to everyone's ideas. I stand up for whoever is right. When we have pizza, I make sure everyone has enough. Vote for me. I'm Fair. So she wants to make sure everybody has what they need. It's being a good friend. My name is Nick Papadakis. I'm 10 years old. And I can be president, too. I have great ideas. I'm good at puzzles. I love to invent things. I always look for more than one answer. Vote for me. I solve problems. And that's a big one, right? When you're president, you're going to come in contact with a lot of problems, right? There's going to be people from different countries who need you to do things for them. There's going to be um, people that are going to be at odds, which means they don't like each other. you got to solve those problems for people so that things can get done. So being able to solve problems is a big deal. My name is Amy Al-Zahari. I am eight years old, and I can be president too. I turn off the lights when I leave a room. I recycle bo bottles and paper. I never throw trash on the ground. I protect animals, and I even plant trees. But for me, I, ca I take care of the earth. Oh, so important. So very, very important. We want to make sure that the earth is in great condition because... The, if we don't take care of the earth, who's going to take care of us, right? The earth's there for us, and we have to be there for it, too. So, very, very important. I might go plant some flowers today, too, so I'm taking care of the earth. Maybe I can be president. Maybe. My name is Alex Petrovich. I'm nine years old. I can be president, too. I get my friends to join teams and school activities. I use good reasons to convince them and others. I'm a role model. Ooh, I love that word. Role model it means they're doing what needs to be done. They're showing everyone else what they need to do. We have a lot of friends like that in my classroom. But for me, I am a leader. So important. I love this picture because it shows he's a little bit older, but he's showing the younger kids what to do. And my friends that are kindergartners now, next year, when they're in first grade, you're going to be this guy. You're going to be showing the kindergartners what our Kelly values look like in the building and what they need to do. And so this picture is great because it shows exactly what your job's going to be next year. You guys are going to be leaders. I love it. I love it. My name is Emily Mushra. I'm eight years old, and I can be president, too. I help my friends understand each other. I try to end arguments. I think of answers that are good for everyone. Vote for me. I work for peace. 
I love that. Keeping everybody on the same page, being fair, taking care of everyone. It's important. Great quality. My name is Eric Antoni. I'm seven years old and I can be president too. I promised my teacher that I would be good and I am every day. I promised my parents that I would learn all of the states. And I did. Vote for me. I keep my promises. That's a big deal, right? When you say you're going to do something, you just got to go through and do it. That's an important part of being president, right? You make a promise to the people, you got to follow through. Very important. We all have different things to offer. We all can make a difference. We are the hope for a better world. Vote for us. The end. I love this story. One, because it shows people of all different shapes, colors, sizes, um, boys and girls, that they can all be president. You don't have to be president just because you look a certain way or you are a, a certain type of person. As long as you have some of these qualities, you can run for president and make an excellent president. So always remember that as you're going forward and thinking about things. Being president, it's, it's an anybody job. Anybody can do it as long as you have the right qualities. You can be a great president if you have the right qualities. So keep that in mind. And for today's book challenge, I have a special request for you. Come up with or pick one of the qualities from the book and tell me how you show that quality. It could be you show um, leadership by teaching your little brother um, manners or you show peace by breaking up arguments between your siblings. Or maybe you show responsibility by doing your chores. Whatever one you think you connect with the most, that you think you show the most, show us how it's done. Tell us why. Why you have that quality and why you would make a great uh, president. Because maybe we'll vote for you one day. Who knows? So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I know I did. Um, I think it's an important thing that we talk about voting and, you know, what our election is going to look like come fall. It's up to us to decide who the president is. And so thinking about these qualities is super important when you pick, go to pick a president. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story as much as I did. And I will be on tomorrow for another daily read aloud. Have a great day. Go enjoy this wonderful weather. And I will see you guys tomorrow.